from LT 135. Yin and Yang are not getting along real well. LT 135 alternator right there, brand new. Just put it in. Um, mill still under warranty from Woodmiser, year and a half old. And I had to replace the alternator. And I've also had to replace the starter. That was, I don't know whose fault. And this was, I don't know whose fault. But you can blame whoever you want, buddy. A year and a half old, I shouldn't be losing the alternator. Um, now you put a, a meter on there. And it's in there. Ground amount. And it's 14.5 volts. So it's putting out the correct amount now. Wasn't putting out anything before. Was only drawing voltage from the battery so woodminder had to send me an alternator and a battery both I had to put them both on the alternator wasn't powering so the battery went bad the alternator is <clears throat> not easy to get to that nut up there is not easy to get to you got to take off this this pan this safety guard and the safety guard up top here and then unscrew this and then your alternator will flop in there but it, it's not a hard install for anybody who knows how to turn a wrench I just don't know how to turn a wrench but we're gonna see so that that is the last thing I was doing right there is the cherry log for a customer so I've been down for <coughs> a week the cherry log has been sitting right there for a week I'll show you what happens to it when it sits for a week and all the tools have been there. I went ahead and Gavin's mad because I told him he couldn't say anything in this video. <laughs> I went ahead and changed the hydraulic. Um, not all the hydraulic fluid, but some of the hydraulic fluid in the pump when I went in there. Uh, that's what this bar was for because that hydraulic pump is tight. The plug for it is tight. But every six months, every year it says, you have to drain some of the hydraulic fluid and put some back in. So I did that while I was down there. The whole reason that this started was my log turner and my uh, all my hydraulics were getting slow under a load. And I couldn't figure out why. And it's because this wasn't alternator wasn't putting out 14.5 volts. It was putting out, it wasn't putting out anything there at the end, but for a while it was probably only putting out 12. Because my battery would still stay start charged at 12 or 11.6, and it would still start the engine, but it wouldn't it wouldn't turn the logs the alternator wasn't keeping the battery fully charged um, and that was last Monday um, so Tuesday I ran this that was Monday night so I spent Monday with, on the phone with Woodmiser took the alternator off ran it in two Napa's on Tuesday and they tested it for me and they tested the battery too told me both of them were bad and Woodmiser sent out one and I got it Friday, and they sent me the wrong battery. They sent me the battery for the LT70. So, um, the LT70 battery will not fit in here, <laughs> in the LT35. So, I sent that back, and they sent me another one, and I got it Friday. They sent me another one, I got it Monday night, and today is Monday night. And the mill will start. I got to put away all these tools for you get to milling again and I gotta take the mower off the tractor before I get to milling again. So I've Gavin put away all the tools. But we'll see, it, it will start, I had it started. But we're gonna see how the, how the hydraulics work. Oh, there's my new sticker too. That's for people who don't know how to operate it and don't want to look down there. We just put a new sticker up top here. So this should be the log turner. Yep, put that in the toolbox. Thank you. It's a magnet. It's a magnet. Well, they're working fast enough. Yep, even though... Even that. And there we are. They're working, they were working really slower, not at all. 
You're done? Yeah. All right. Put away these and we can get to milling. Hydraulics are working. Oh man, I just flipped over my log. Now you can't see what. Well, watch the next video. We'll see what. Sitting right there for a week, did to those boards. And we'll see what that did. I can lift that up. Yep. Thank you. And get that hammer too. All right, that's it. I'll find out in the next video what those did, what that cherry log, the stress in that cherry log is. Take off a few cuts. If there's a big, well, you'll see in the next video. Like and subscribe and hit that notification button and we'll uh, put out some more videos. Yeah, you can tell them something. Reiki? Okay. Wedge. Yep. Yep. Tell them to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.